number 202 uh, is it uh, Rod and his brother Brad uh, in again in South Australia I oh, look I love this setup look tools on the wall there's paintings there's a drum kit there's a guitar all the things that I love to see in uh, in a in a men's room is it the men's shed there or whatever we call it's Brad Shed, Bradley Shed. Oh, look, uh, Rod has grown up in uh, Adelaide. He's a singer, a songwriter, bass player in a Christian band back in the 80s. Can I ask what that band was? Soul Purpose, When I Had Hair, way back. <laughs> That wasn't too long ago. Now, look, he went on to play in uh, pubs and clubs, uh, was Darwin's wedding singer extraordinaire and uh, and met and encountered Jesus and uh, picked up the guitar again and is sharing wonderful, wonderful stories and songs of positive truth. Rod, welcome to Red's Room, concert number 206, coming live from Adelaide, Australia, across America. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you to my brother, Brad, for taking time to help me out. In the preamble earlier, we uh, we said, who's your friend there? And he said, he's not my friend, he's my brother. But then he did clarify that they are friends too. So <laughs> uh, Rod, we'll chat a little bit more about your story. But uh, what's the first song that you uh, have for sharing with us this evening? Yeah, well, I, I write my own songs and uh, this particular song uh, is special to me because it's related to a dear friend who passed away a couple of years ago, uh, well, actually only a year, just over a year ago now. Um, she's an Aboriginal lady from Central Australia, from Yindamu, Kathleen Martin. And this painting behind me, she actually painted and it's called, it's Kathleen's Dreaming. And the same time that she painted it, this song came out of me called Lady Blue. And we realised in discussion that it was, the song was about the painting. They actually are about the same thing. I won't go into it now, but essentially it's a song about a wedding. It's a song about a bride and a groom. It goes a little like this. It's a little bit country because it's got to be yin de mu. If uh, anyone in the USA, we're talking about the true outback, way out back there. Let's walk around the desert to make some rain. She got a white dress on, flowers in her hair. She's walking on top of the ground, round and ground. She got a bright blue shoes and hair of flame, Lady Blue. Lady Blue. She's looking for a cowboy in a dusty red hat. He's got sounds down rails, guitar on his lap. He's singing her songs, singing her song. He's walking up the river with a bottle of red. Lady Blue. Lady Blue. He's a love struck king. He's a love struck It's a love struck theme In a love struck dream Lady Blue, we love you Lady Blue Their destiny written in the stars Since the dream time It's been a lean time it's a long lost love story about a girl and her glory. He's a love struck 
She's a love-struck queen It's a love-struck theme And a love-struck dream Lady Blue, we love you Lady Blue Yes, you are He's got the word of truth and a ring for you And his wrong name for his lady blue Lady blue Lady blue Lady blue Kathleen and her mob, that they would know Christ fully. There you go. Amen to that. Look, I love that painting. I want to see more of that painting behind you that uh, inspired that song. Does it have Tasmania on there? I can see the outline <laughs> of Australia. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't paint it, but they forgot Tassie. Hang on, I'll put it yeah, in front. Well, might, if you hang it on the wall, you might have to just put a little tazzy down the bottom there and because uh, they get a bit annoyed when we leave them off. And uh, yeah. <laughs> that is a beautiful painting, and I can see and hear the inspiration in that marvellous song. That's beautiful. Look at yeah, that. Um, it's, it's actually a dream I got uh, later on as well. Um, yeah, it's a big story, but uh, God wants to do something in Central Australia. And... Uh, that's the painting of how God's going to do it. Yeah, that is beautiful. I know a number of people who are uh, ministering out in uh, the outback in Central Australia, the northern sections of Western Australia, the Northern Territory, beautiful people who just love people and love the Lord and are taking such beautiful songs. Uh, do you get out to that area very much, Rod? I, I do indeed. In fact, me and my brother have gone up before with a prophetic worship band all the way up to Catherine, and I try and get up there once a year because um, you might have heard of Iris Ministries. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm sort of loosely connected to them, and actually I've got a song about that at the end of my little set, so I'll tell, talk to more about that. But um, it is definitely on my heart is... Uh, getting into Central Australia and uh, and just bringing the presence of God because yep. there's a lot of uh, people, I don't know if people in the US know, there's a lot of problems still on the communities. Um, very complex things, very deep spiritual things that still haven't been dealt with and uh, there's been a lot of words said, there's been a lot of money thrown at it but I just want to go up there with a band and we're just going to worship and bring the presence of God and see what he wants to do there. One of the greatest things that I love about those communities is their uh, reliance, their passion for music. And mm. uh, you can go up there with a guitar and they will crowd around even before you start playing. And uh, when right. you do start playing, they are singing along and clapping and it's just an amazing atmosphere and uh, I'm greatly in awe of uh, Levi McGrath, who's another Aussie artist who has uh, done some projects for instruments for the outback, taking guitars and, and other things that uh, people can play to the outback areas. And they always love receiving instruments, along with a couple of sets of strings as well, <laughs> because you can't go down to the corner shop and buy those. But look, right, uh, yeah. just encourage you to continue doing that, Rod. What's the uh, what's the next song you'll be sharing with us? 
Well, the next one is a very personal song. Um, it's called When. It's for all the single folk out there because uh, I'm single and uh, it gets pretty trying sometimes. And uh, in the depths of that one time in COVID, I wrote a song called When. Lonely is a day I've known too long. I'll linger here till something comes along. Like lying in the sun too long. This dryness permeates my. So to hold a hand and share my wife, a measure of my sanity, to be heard and be seen, to be two by two. Better not leave a man alone to fight this war unseen. Gotta be so much. Better than this beer and crap TV. Oh, Ooh. is she waiting for that tall night to come? Is she chained to that big bad wall at her door? Thank you so much, Rod. I look, I, I've got to make a comment here. There is so much 
rubbish on TV uh, than there ever used to be. So that sort of rings home for me. I love watching my TV occasionally, but uh, there's not a lot to watch. But uh, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, look, I've got to say you're a very, very brave man uh, giving a drummer and uh, your brother a microphone. <laughs> have, a, have a talk, Brad. No. I get better. He's a pretty he's a pretty good songwriter himself, Brad. So, well, tell Brad quickly tell us uh, what what music you've been involved in, uh, bands and things. Uh, have we ever heard you in uh, on on recordings anywhere? Not really recordings. I did a lot of live stuff when I was younger in the secular world. I've always played in churches and stuff, but I did yep. um, work uh, pretty much full time for about five years, which was great. And then I stepped away because i was more interested in god so i had a bit of an awakening myself um and i've always offered offered my gift to him since then and i've been on amazing journeys and i'm blessed to have met up again with my brother musically um Hmm. and uh i'm really looking forward i mean we're both getting older let's not let's not beat around the bush but speak for yourself (laughs) i'm still 28 man (laughs) He's in, he's in denial. Um, but, um, but what I was going to say is I really look forward to seeing what God's got for us. This is a future. look. This is a look. <laughs> Bruce Willis. Go. Yeah. It's very appealing uh, too. Mm. I'm so I hear. Yeah. We, we actually had the uh, beginning birth of a dream years and years ago, driving our parents, helping them move from the East Coast back to Adelaide. And uh, we discussed about... What if we had a band that could do secular songs in pubs and clubs, but just bring the presence of God? And it's trying to make it happen. We've had a lot of obstacles, but we're just we're leaving it to God now. Yeah, when He's ready, we'll we'll do it. He's planted yeah. that seed in our hearts, and yeah. we just want to do it. So, yeah, wonderful gifts and uh, wonderful blessings. I'm sure He will lead you along the right paths. Oh, yeah. And uh, in his good time, show you where you need to be walking. Uh, Rod, uh, Brad, what is the next song that you have to share for, with us this evening? Well, it's, this is a song I reckon I could do in a pub. It's called If Only You Knew. It's a song about unrequited love. But when you hear it, I think you'll know where it's from. It's a very spiritual song.
that's been done for you and uh, his brother brad i'm uh, hoping that your name is harrison as well <laughs> <laughs> live across america on red's room uh, praising god one concert at a time concert number 206 and uh, look, we're just having a great time sharing with uh, rod and brad harrison at the moment uh, still to come lisa and vanessa uh, all our artists uh, from Adelaide this evening, except Nick, who we heard a little earlier, is based in Illinois. Look, uh, Rod, uh, loving your songs. I reckon that one could easily be played in a pub or a club or in the secular market. And uh, look, I, I know that there's an artist up here in Queensland, uh, a husband and wife team called Endure. Uh, and uh, they play a lot of pubs and clubs in the uh, outback. Uh, with, I'm talking outback as in a little bit west of the range. But, uh, yeah, look, they get uh, a great response, and I'm sure you would too with those songs. Just beautiful music. Thank you. You're right. What's the, uh, what's the next song that you have for us this evening? Well, this one gets up and boogies, so see how we go. Um, it's, it's funny. Um I generally, I love my rock and roll, but uh, most of the songs that are coming out of me are a little bit more country, laid back a bit. Maybe it's because I'm getting older, I don't know. This song uh, is called Open the Iris, and this came about, I'm very, very fortunate, I, I get a lot of dreams, often from heaven, and I got a whole download of stuff one night, and uh, it's ended up in a song. And it's also related to Uluru, Central Australia, and uh, what God, I believe, would like to do in the centre of our country. Um, I'd love to have a dig player at the beginning of this and a few more instruments. On, we'll, we'll get there one day. It goes a bit like this.
great i love the bit of up tempo and rock and roll let the light come in indeed uh concert 206 on red's room entertainment praising god one concert at a time and uh, look i just love the heart that you pair have for uh your fellow uh, men in australia if you're if i can say that and especially for the outback, are loving the influences of uh, those song, uh, those influences coming through in your songs, and uh, the passion. Love your voice. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Ta. How many more songs have you got for us? I could I, look. I got forty songs, but um, I could do one. But Brad hasn't heard it. Doesn't matter. He uh, can improvise. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. All right, I will. Um, uh, another thing my brother and I have done in the past, COVID interrupted a bit. Um, we used to go to Salvation Army in the city here and help the homeless and the poor people there. And uh, a lot of uh, people in bad situations, whether it be through uh, mental illness or drugs. Um, and it was just, it's a great community, wasn't it? It was good. And they're starting to tr do it again. But once I was sitting across the table, talking to this uh, dear lady. I don't really know how old she was. Um, she'd done a lot of drugs, so she looked a lot older than she was. And my heart just broke. Her story was terrible. Um, and I wrote this song uh, about her. And, it, and it's a song about a lot of these people that slipped through our fingers in society too far. It's called Diamonds in Your Heart. You know what? I tuned to double to drop D in that other song and I forgot to come back up. <laughs> Try again. That'll make a big difference. Oh, my son does that all the time when he's playing guitar. No worries. Let's <laughs> we'll give you a Where's moment my... if we Where can. is my guitar roadie? Where is my roadie? He's supposed to be throwing me the right guitar, eh? Yeah, my collection of 12 guitars, not. That's better. Right, back to normal tuning. No one knows where you've been tonight You walk the streets to find a light There's 
There's nothing left in your mind Harry left and he stole your shine Heaven knows that it's hard You never thought you'd go this far You didn't dream that this would be when as a girl you dance with me Papa used to smile at you He told you all that you could do Heaven knows that's far away Your memories forgot their way but there's diamonds in your heart Yes, there's diamonds in your heart Heaven knows you've gone too far Silent screams and clouds of ice The missing years the shallow smiles Concrete floors for days on end A missing child lost I don't know when Heaven knows you're the old betrayal You were told God looked away But there's dying Yes, there's diamonds in your heart Heaven knows you've gone too far I see your heart I see your heart No one knows where you've been Tonight, you walk the streets to find light. Who would know that this would last? How long now? All the time that's passed. Heaven knows how far away your memories forgot that. But there's diamonds in your heart Yes, there's diamonds in your heart Heaven knows you've gone too far I see your heart I see your heart We are called to find the diamonds and the golden people, not to judge people. Well, that's who we are as the church, eh? That is Thank so you. true. What a beautiful song and uh, great lyrics uh, calling us to look for those diamonds uh, rather than the little black cancerous spots that we love to find in people. Let's look for the diamonds. I love that song. And uh, love the lyrics, love where you're coming from. I love that uh, drum, the bass drum cover as well. Uh, he down just the made front. that up, by the way. Absolutely. He'd never heard that before. <laughs> it looked well, well improvised, Brad. That was a great job. <laughs> uh, the um, drum skin was a gift from Darren Canning. I don't know whoever's heard of Darren Canning. He's got a couple of his wow. artworks at the front there, but yeah, he's a really decent bloke he's a prophet from canada and uh yeah wow. so he painted, painted the skin which is on the front of brad's drum and also the picture of uluru there too beautiful work indeed and a canadian artist uh that's not uh, a very usual uh to find uh, overseas people uh, doing such great australian type art that's beautiful thank you so much for sharing with us tonight uh, can we pray for you and your ministry is that okay 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's all pray for uh, Rod and uh, Brad and uh, their ministry in music. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, we just thank you so much for these uh, beautiful men, the uh, beautiful heart that you've given them for people, the beautiful words that you've given them from your word. And uh, look, we just ask that you be with them as they share, they write, they compose and but especially as they meet and uh, relate to people in your name and we just praise you for them and ask that you go before them and open doors step the way before them and lead them where you wish them to go and uh, just bless their ministry in jesus name thank you lord amen amen thank, thank you. you very much love you guys love what you do we've got to have more of your music and uh, look have you got anything coming up that's uh, being recorded now or uh, anything available that's been released so recently we've just captured captured it now uh, listen i my dream is to go into a studio and record these things properly god willing that will happen but at the moment it's just a bit of uh this that you've got now so Thank you so much for helping us capture Thank this. You. This is the first time I've actually been able to play with a real drum kit. Uh, most of the stuff I just dabble around with at home. I've got demos, but it's not real drums. I want the real thing. Yeah. Well, he's sitting there right beside you. So well done, Brad. Uh, blessings to you both for your continued ministry. If you need some connections, we can put you in touch with people in South Australia who may be able to uh, help you out with the recording and uh look where can we find you here here i i, I don't have <laughs> we're right here you found us <laughs> i don't really have much public uh the online stuff um i yeah not not yet I, I think if i had a recording i'd know i'd have to get off my butt and do something about that but uh, at the moment no nah, i i'm of the principal i've got a lot of songs um and i know what i want to record Yep. Um, I'm not going to release anything that's half cooked. I, I want it done properly. And once it's done properly, I'll, it'll be out there. Well, thank you for blessing us with your music uh, this evening on Red's Room. Concert number 206. Praising God one concert at a time across 